All right, so welcome back to Black Ops 2 Live, and I'm here with star of The Walking Dead, Days of Thunder, and of course, Black Ops 2, Michael Rooker. Um, so you play a character called Harper in the game. Uh, what can you tell me about him? Uh, well, his first name is Mike. So that's my name, uh, so Mike Harper. Uh, he sort of looks like me, just a little bit younger, more muscular. Um, and um, he is um, a US Navy SEAL, you know, and uh, he has pretty dangerous missions. Uh, our our uh, game here, Black Ops 2. Is he an old school soldier? I mean, is he struggling to adapt to the new future sort of tech? Well, you know, he's not. He's not struggling to do that. He he knows all the all the future warfare uh, uh, things he needs to do. He, he's he's up to date on everything he needs to do. He's a um, quintessential warrior, though. He's got the warrior uh, frame of mind. He's he's there for one reason and one reason only, and that's to uh, succeed in that mission and save save what we know of as our free world, yeah. And I mean, the, the process of, of performing for this game, it's full performance capture, isn't it? I mean, how was that experience? Did they make you wear a leotard or? Yeah, I don't like to call it a leotard. Uh, I like to call it a body suit. But yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a big giant, uh, it's a from neck to toe, body suit, leotard. It's very tight fitting on the uh, strategic points. It has uh, markers for about 185, 200 cameras that are around the room. And they capture all your motion, hence motion capture. They capture all your motion, but they, all, they also capture uh, uh, facial gestures uh, and hence trying to uh, help duplicate uh, emotion. The emotion will also uh, come in with when we do the voiceover as well. So there's like a you do the motion capture, then you go in later on and you do the, you do the voiceover for, for the motion capture. Is it interesting seeing the subtleties of your performance coming out in a, a 3D model? Oh, it's very cool, actually. Oh, it's very, very cool, very cool. When I go to the gym now, I have to aspire to Mike Harper. You know, I have to like, whoa, dude, they made me look too good. I'm going to have to, I got to pump up my arms and shoulders and back and chest, the whole body. And this isn't your first rodeo as far as Call of Duty is concerned. I mean, you were in the Zombies DLC for the first Black Ops. How did that deal come about? Uh, that, well, that came about because I was in uh, Walking Dead. Um, one of the producers, uh, someone from Activision, Treyarch, they, they saw my work, they enjoyed the work, enjoyed the, the show, they're big fans of the show, The Walking Dead, and, and that's how I got that, uh, the zombie pack. It was me and several other actors, we got to play ourselves. So, you, you know, it, it looks very, very much like me, you know, the, the, the technology is just, you know, groundbreaking and uh, on, on the cusp, it's awesome, awesome stuff. Is it difficult to reconcile the fact that this will be seen by as many people as like a big, major Hollywood blockbuster film? Well, you know it will. I mean, we're, we're uh, one, of the, one of the largest franchises uh, in, in the gaming history right now, so... Uh, and, and being the big boy on the block, man, you, you better bring your game. And uh, let me tell you one thing, this, this Call of Duty Black Ops 2 brought, we brought, we brought our game. All the actors, all the, all the performers, all the uh, tech people, all the animators, everyone from the producers and the, and the head of Activision and Treyarch all the way down to, you know, uh, uh, guys coming in and delivering materials to these guys you know everybody everybody was, was there for one purpose and to produce this game and make it the best best game in the world so do you have any particular favorite scenes that you guys shot for the game i really enjoyed the part where we jump out of the belly of the plane in the squirrel suits and, and what they do to make it easier for us they try to give us props and you know uh, things that represent rifles and pistols and guns and also things that represent helmets and things like that so they want the real naturalistic motion of putting on a helmet right you can sort of do it you can imagine you know you put on your helmet right but they want it they don't want it to be even as real as possible so they my my helmet was a, a, a plastic bowl with with duct tape around it and and a, and every time i put it on it, it would move so it was, it was funny. All they wanted was the mo this motion, you know? So once I did that, the, the scene was cut. But, uh, but after I did it, I put it on, and I wanted to jump out of the thing. It kept falling off. I mean, it, I really enjoy the, the, the moments where, you know, you're doing stuff, and 
you, know, you mess up or something, you say the wrong word, or you, you say a word that is a Freudian, Freudian slip or something like that, and it's just fun. It's a big family over there, and, and I, I've had a good time working with them and looking forward to working on other projects, and yeah, it's going to be great.